morning everyone in today's lecture I will show you how to add layout to the section that we created in the previous video and um, in a previous section that uh, I explained layouts uh, for my students especially in uh, for my students in Ajwan University I have this example which is uh, it's completely made in a metric system and uh, the 3.5 3.8 meter here if you remember guys when I explained in the in the in the CAD lab uh, I was talking about you know the unable to see the scales here that when I explain it even when you pick a one, one, one to one hundred it will not be you know expressing the, the correct uh, scale and we said we have to complete the one thousand by multiplying this ten by one by a uh, hundred so you get one thousand so if this is a frame if you want to make this as, as 1 to 100, you have to complete the 1000 and by this you have to write this uh, 10. So 10 by 100 will be 1000, so this will be 1 to 100. So always select this guy. If you want it to be 100, just multiply that by 10. If you want it to be 200, multiply it by 5 in order to complete the 1000 and so on. So if you remember this part, guys, uh, when I explained it in the class, uh, here I'm trying to express this in a different environment this is a units of millimeters so when I go to layout uh, and I just simply go to this and take the file just to show you different cases when you copy paste between different environments different units uh, again uh, just copy that without the without the viewport of course and just paste it here and indeed I need to go to right click on the page and go to page setup and go to modify and I will pick the AutoCAD PDF and the size of the paper I will have it ISO A3 let's say this one so we are yep this one and again I'm gonna pick here from here monochrome so monochrome PDF A3 I'm gonna you know uh, put that on layout so it will be automatically centered and hit OK close and this guy I can double click or rename and just say in A3 and I can say just section and then let's say 1 to 100 and probably um, pushing that a little bit to make it inside the frame uh, and then a little bit to the right anyway the viewport itself uh, might need some work on it but the point here of course uh, the frame the picture I was going to show as a text so you need to add Ajman University logo as we said in the class anywho uh, that's what I wanted to talk about the viewport and the scale that's the scary issue for you guys in here if I go immediately not to custom scale but rather to standard scale and I just pick 1 to 100 like this so before I should have focused on the object like this and then you know select that guy and go to custom scale 1 to 100 which is totally was not available when I was on a metric system on the previous example that I just show you so you will notice here it's working and uh, Again, we don't need to follow the same method to complete the 1000, but rather to complete number one or the number one. So if I select this, you will say that uh, this is 1 to 100, so you don't even need to look at this guy. But in order to understand it, you have to complete one, number one. So in order to make this is 1 to 100, so 100, you see this multiplied by 0.01 to get number one and that's mean it's one to one hundred correctly if you want to make this uh, one to two hundred which is not available here uh, probably you need to go and multiply that by 05 so that's one to two hundred because if you multiply two hundred by that number you get a clear number of one if you need to that's uh, one to one hundred if you need to make it one to fifty that means this should be two that's one to fifty and as you can see it reflect that back immediately so what I wanted to say that some of those settings are working and you know like it's 1 to 100 and it's 0.1 now you have to complete number one not number 1000 
So if I want to make this 1 to 200 again, I have to provide 05 here, double 05. That means to multiply by 200 to complete number 1. Uh, that probably was a scary part for lots of my student as I noticed anyway you can just simply go here and make that one uh, to 100 and divide that on half if you want to make it 1 to 200 without calculating and go scary about the math as uh, lots of students hate to get the hustle inside it and uh, <clears throat> that's about it guys that's uh, that's this that's the layout that I promise you to make and uh, you can just copy that and paste it and let's say right to click here and make a copy and move and of course select the name and hit create copy and you can rename later on to make it let's say you want 200 and again if you as I said if you don't want to get into multiplying thing that's 1 to 100 divide that on 2 so zero five and that's it that's uh, one to two hundred and you can come here and make that smaller and uh, put more than one sheet maybe one section and uh, one elevation uh, in your views and that's about it guys thank you very much for watching and have a good day